in our last class we learned how to take input from user right now write a program where ask user to enter three number then collect that user imported numbers and finally print the summations of these three number so let's open your eclipse so i have already opened my eclipse and last day we have created com.demo.io package so under the same package i am going to create another class so let's right click here and then new and then class let me enter the name of this class so it is sum of three numbers so you can check the naming conventions you already learned that now click on this public static void main check it here and then finish so it will create a sum of three numbers class under the com.demo.io package right so like previously we don't need this comment statement now let's double click here to make it a wider view okay so what is our aim our aim is to give a statement so that user can put three different value or three different number and finally we will give them the summation of that three number right so first create a statement system dot out dot print line and under that enter first number okay so you are asking user to enter his first number now what user will do user will basically enter the first number and again we have to collect that number right similar way there will be three number which user have to enter right so create three statement i am copy pasting this and this is first number then second number and this is basically third number now we already learned that to collect the number we need three variable right so let create three variable int a v and c so we will collect first number under a then second number under v and third number under c now what will be our next variable so our printing statement is basically summation of this a b and c right so we need another variable which will hold the summations value of a b and c right so create another variable let's say its name is sum so now our variable declaration is done so what is our next step next step we have to collect the value from keyboard or from the system right which basically user will input so for that we already understand in our last class that we will use scanner class right so let create a instance of scanner class now from where we will take the value so that is from system so that's why we use system dot in right now here you will get the error message and you will get a marker here so let click it here so it's asking me to import the java dot util package where basically the scanner class is available right so let double click here so you can see the package with scanner class is imported here now what is our next aim our next aim is to collect the first second and third number under a v and c respectively right so we have already created three variable now we have to collect the value from input so for the same what we have to do first create a equal to what is our scanner instance name that is basically sc so make it sc dot and these are basically a integer value we are expecting so next int method we need it here right so a is equal to sc dot next int similar way we have to collect the second and third number under b and c so under b and c that's why i am just copy pasting this one and b is equal to again the same thing sc dot next int and again the third number will be collected under c so c is equal to sc dot next int so you can understand that user enter first number second number and third number that will be collected under a b and c variable okay now we have to add this a and b and c so for that we have to use the operator a plus b plus c now where this value will be stored that value will be stored or that calculated value will be stored under some variable so we can make it like sum equal to a plus b plus c and then 
terminate it with semicolon now whatever the value inputted by user as a first number second number and third number that will come under abc and under sum it will be calculated as a additions okay now it's time to print the summations right so create a print statement again and we will print this value that will be hold under some variable right you can make this with proper you know commenting so make a double quote first and under this double quote make some equal to and last class we already learned to you know make this dynamic value here we have to use this plus sign here right so now the system will take the three input value calculate their summations put it in some variable and then it will you know print under this statement so sum is equal to and whatsoever value calculated here okay so let's save it first and then click on this run button so see the system ask me enter your first number let me put first number is equal to 10 then again enter then the second statement come enter the second number so let me put the second number as 20 again enter then it will ask me the third number enter the third number okay so let make the third number as 40 so what is the actual summation of these three so that is basically 70 right so once i click enter so it will give me this statement sum is equal to and calculated value is equal to 70 right so let enter and check okay so you can see the sum is equal to 70 is coming here so this way you can take user input and based on your logic you can do any type of program so this is a simple example of three number additions i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel